This week on This is Ruth Yole, a day in my life as a creative. Decorating a chocolate fudge cake, baking and decorating tips, I managed to salvage a kitchen fail, staying grounded, because I was just feeling I need time with myself, I need to do things that I authentically like, and so much more. Subscribe and tap on the notification bell for updates. Welcome to my world. just made my bed I my face is all fresh just to clean my face so I feel good so I need to make frosting for the cake the chocolate fudge cake then cover it with one layer of frosting and then do devotion and then come back and finish up I have a cake that needs to go to Lavington by 10 o'clock so I am riding against time so let's do this So I'm all geared up. Uh, I love covering my head. I mean, just general food hygiene. My apron. Let's do this. This cake turned out really nice. Um, I'm just gonna flip over to that. And then, oh, it stand out perfectly. Oh my goodness, guys, I am so happy. So, what I am going to do is
so guys that's how my cake looks so far um because cake tends to like for the chocolate fudge cake because it's quite a moist cake so it tends the crumbs tend to fall apart so i like doing one layer of icing for frosting then i give it about like 30 minutes and then i now do the final layer so this is what is remaining and this is the state of affairs already <laughs> in my sink so i'll quickly rinse this and then we do the second layer always like starting off with a lot of icing it's easier to decorate the cake and that way instead of using less you can scrape it off as you go so just this turntable has really helped me a huge lot so just spread spread really small you know and then uh, the chocolate dripping sauce I am super excited to just one round Then on top, just scrape off the excess. It's smooth, the top is really nice. So now I want to do the chocolate dripping sauce. So let me get my chocolate dripping. So guys, something happened. Um, as I was drenching my cake with chocolate syrup, I actually realized that the syrup was being absorbed into the buttercream and your telecona drip qua board. I was too shook to record. I was like, oh my god, what will I do? So I have quickly thought um, of 
spreading the entire cake uh, let me just show you so guys this is the state of affairs right now i wiped off of course uh the dripping because oh my gosh it was so messy so i just realized i i was trying to use chocolate sauce uh the pre-bought chocolate sauce and it does not work for cake you know it only works for dessert maybe bananas ice cream but it doesn't work for cake I normally use, I normally melt chocolate, so nimefikiria harakaraka nikaona, okay, I have buttercream, adding cocoa to the buttercream, so I've just made some frosting, so you're just going to modify, spread this all around, because, like, everything was melting off, like, the the dripping was, ata ilikuwa ina, ina magika hapa kwa hi, what is it, this turntable, so, Wow, uh, that happens. Yeah, that is the baking world. A sneak peek, it happens, and I'm running out of time, so let me finish off this cake, guys. Bathe and get going. So I'm eating rice and beans for breakfast, yum yum, and I find it easier because in the morning, making breakfast in the morning, I find it quite, you know, a hassle. So I prefer eating, making, at least when I'm cooking at night, I make sure I cook the supper, that's what I'm going to have for breakfast and maybe for lunch. So this is what I'm eating today, so let me dig in. Let's... Mm. This is nice. So let me finish up my prep. So I am done prepping. This is the outfit of the day. My hair just um, naturally. I'm actually liking it. I've had it on for three weeks now. And some stars. So OTD. My silver. What is this? Jewelry. Yeah. So I'll show you the full look. And I'm off to delivery.
that was really happy delivery went well god is so good i am so happy so it's around three o'clock right now 2 30. so now it's around 2 30. i have a few other things to do i need to call a few people so besides fashion and food we're hustling out here in nairobi you feel me so i am also a voiceover artist so i do commercials documentaries um that's what i do so that's what i've been doing for a while now so i need to make some calls uh concerning the same so that is what i need to do right now also i need to uh prep for for start, uh, for dinner because today i'm going for bible study um yeah so i'm going to tell you more about that in a few what else do i need to do i also need to confirm uh tomorrow's delivery i have a cake that i'm delivering tomorrow so i need to confirm time i actually bought uh i bought in a box let me just show you we bought a box uh and a board so tomorrow yeah a board for tomorrow's cake so i'm doing a strawberry cake for tomorrow which i'll be baking actually after bible study so today is super long but we do it we are grateful for work we are not complaining so let us continue so guys i'm done making the phone calls uh they went well so i decided because i know once i am done with bible study that will be about by the time i come back home to be about 10 and the way i'm feeling i am feeling exhausted so i was actually thinking i bake the strawberry cake right now it's an easy cake so haraka haraka it will be done by an hour a strawberry cake so let's do this So our strawberry butter has turned out really really well i normally like adding strawberry essence at the end you know after everything has mixed up visually that way i'm able to get the exact color you know and add or you know add accordingly so this is perfect and love love how this has turned out i like cleaning my mixer so often that is how you maintain your mixer just wiping off anything that may have gotten inside the spoons and yeah i've had this mixer actually for two years no wait 2020 2021 yeah 24 yeah for two years now and it served me so well so far no issues with this mixer so just clean it up so i'll definitely use this to make my first thing to work The cake is in the oven. Uh, the background noise that you hear is actually the timer ticking and um, the oven doing its thing. So, 
finally, not finally, but we are almost getting the, the, uh, done. So we're almost done. So right now I want to do meal prep for tonight. I am doing deep fried potatoes. Today I'm feeling like deep fried potatoes and also guacamole. So that is what I am going to be doing today. Before I go to Bible study, which I should be out in an hour. Yeah, so, but I believe, I believe I'll make it in good time. I believe I'll make it good time. Anyway, not in an hour. I'll be actually out 30 minutes. So before I go to Bible study, which I should be out in at least 30, 30 minutes. So I think I'll make it. I'm going to make it. So why I joined this Bible study? First of all, it's been going well. I am so grateful. I have been meaning to join a Bible study for the longest time. But I have been proc procrastinating really badly. Why? Because, number one, I have been busy. Okay, well, I have been busy, truly. But I've been busy. And Bible study would normally coincide with this Bible study, this specific Bible study, my YouTube video shooting, which I started shooting my YouTube videos. They did shoot my YouTube videos, which I started shooting in September. And the person who invited me to Bible study, I think they mentioned that uh, they invited me last year, August, or earlier, I can't remember, it was a while and I've been postponing, I've been saying I'm busy, I'm coming. And then to some extent I was like, you know what, I don't even feel like going, I'm busy, what's the point? And plus, honestly, I think last year I did a, I did a lot of detox in terms of, not detox, but really cut off a lot of social activities. Because I was just feeling I need time with myself. I need to do things that I authentically like. And I mean, I just spend time with myself and of course my close, my small circle, my close people. Yeah, so I was like, ah, what's the point? Like, I'm doing devotion at home. So what's the point of going for Bible study? Like, me, I'm fine. But then he insisted, end of the year, oh my goodness, of this party, this cake. I was like, oh my gosh. Why? <laughs> and then I remember them saying that, you know what, Ruth, you're always welcome whenever you're ready. And I think that is what really like made me feel like, oh my goodness, you know what, I should actually go and I can actually create time. And so last, no, actually this year, was it January? Wait, wait, June. This year, May, I started, it's been a month, yeah, a month. And let me tell you, this Bible study has really, really enriched me because also one of my concerns was like, you know, uh, I wanted to be in a group of people who I can open up myself to because I'm a very private person, actually. I mean, I don't always, I'm not the person who opens up. Okay, yes, I'll open up on YouTube as much as very strangely enough, <laughs> but naturally I don't always open up to people very easily so i really wanted to feel comfortable actually i was invited to another bible study but i don't know for some reason i was like oh, not too sure so i joined the bible study i was open-minded i was like you know what let me go let me experience it and let me see if i like it you know and not too many expectations just have a good time and if this is what you like ruth you're going to come back and let me tell you since then I have not turned back. It's crazy. You know, I used to think that, especially as a creative, and even the many creatives I've talked to, not many, but some, and especially in the church, I don't know why, and comment down below if you feel me, or not just in the creative space, but there's always a struggle. Like, I don't know, you get offended, or, you know, and, and I, I mean, everyone has also been equally offended by people. And even part of the reason why I was hesitating to join any Bible study, because I knew people would know you and I didn't want to get too familiar with people. That was my concern. But I really love this Bible study. You know, people, I think I must be the youngest, you know, so people in their 30s, mostly when we have 30 to 60, if I'm not wrong, 60 or 50. E yeah, I think 30 to 50. Yeah, so it's a mature crowd, definitely. But I'm comfortable, I'm at home, I'm learning, I'm growing. And I, I'm looking forward. So today I'm looking forward. Bible study starts at 6, I should be there in a few. So let's do meal prep. Comment down below. And Karibu Sana, if you have not subscribed to the channel, Karibu Sana. Guys, I've just been vlogging on and on and on. I'm not even told to subscribe. So please, this is the time where I tell you. 
to subscribe and if you're new to this channel karibu sana make sure you subscribe feel at home and also watch other videos so let us do this meal prep i'm just peeling potatoes boiling them and then when i come back that's what i'll deep fry them so that they're nice and warm and crunchy make my guacamole i have my avocado with me right here i have my avocado with me right here i actually got this from home um my parents house um shags yeah this is avoc avocado season apparently and they're really big so i'm excited let us do this So I need a bomber jacket. Um, and change this. The top it's now a sporting suit, a sporting look. So the bomber you knew it was a bit dressy. So the jacket goes perfectly with this. Love, love, love. So same shoes, same pants. So let's go. A few moments later we've come to the end of this vlog it was so much fun vlogging it's been an amazing day my food is ready also the cake turned out amazing bible study was bomb it was amazing so i'm grateful i'm grateful and thank you so much for staying with me to the end of this vlog karibu sana if you're new to this channel make sure you subscribe if you haven't and tap on the notification bell to get notified when i upload new videos and also you can watch previous videos so thank you so much it's one o'clock. I need to sleep. I really need to sleep, man. <laughs> but it's been a full day and I'm so happy and I'm so grateful. So I can't wait to do this again. As you can see, it's dark outside. Yeah, so girl needs to sleep. Yeah. Until next time. Bye.